and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says classify the following as linear, quadratic and cubic polynomials. So first let us learn what are linear polynomials, quadratic polynomials and cubic polynomials. So starting with the linear. A polynomial of degree 1 is said to be a linear polynomial. It is of the form ax plus b where a and b are constants and a is not equal to 0. And the quadratic polynomials are the polynomials of degree 2. And it is of the form ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants and a is not equal to 0. And cubic polynomials are the algebraic expressions whose degree is 3 and it is of the form ax square ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where a is not equal to 0 and a, b, c, d are constants. So, this is our key idea of which we should be aware of before answering the following question. Now, let us start with the first one which is x square plus x. Now on observing this polynomial, we find that here the variable is x whose highest degree is 2. And thus, it is a quadratic polynomial. So, this completes the first part. And now, proceeding on to the second one, which is x minus x cube. Now here the variable is x whose highest exponent is 3. This implies the degree of this polynomial is 3. And a polynomial having degree 3 is a cubic polynomial. Therefore, this given polynomial is a cubic polynomial. So this completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the third one which is y plus y square plus 4. Now here the variable of this polynomial is y whose highest exponent is 2 This implies the degree of this polynomial is 2. And the polynomial having degree 2 is a quadratic polynomial. Therefore, this polynomial is a quadratic polynomial. And this completes this part. And now proceeding on to the next one. Which is 1 plus x. Now, on observing this polynomial, we find that here the variable is x whose highest exponent is 1. This implies 
implies that degree of this polynomial is equal to 1 and hence it is a linear polynomial. So this completes the fourth part. And now proceeding on to the fifth one which is 3t and in this polynomial this is a monomial since it had only one term and the variable in this polynomial is t whose highest exponent is 1. This implies its degree is equal to 1 and hence this is also a linear polynomial. So this completes the fifth part and now proceeding on to the next one which is r square. Now here the variable is r whose highest exponent is 2 and so this implies its degree is equal to 2 and hence it is a quadratic polynomial. This completes the sixth part and now proceeding on to the last one which is 7x cube. Now here the variable is x whose highest exponent is 3 and a polynomial with degree 3 is a cubic polynomial and hence this polynomial is a cubic polynomial. So, this completes the solution. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good day.